Hello my friends, good afternoon. This is Grace here from Mommy Supermodel. I am doing this video right off from the gym. I'm sweaty and all, forgive me for that. Um, but I have an excellent question for you today. Uh, you know that I like to ask questions. Questions are excellent things. They make us think, they make us explore um, the unknown, they make us, most importantly, ask questions about ourselves to get to know ourselves better and deeper. And that is what today's video is about. I have a question for you. And this is it. Are you a cheapskate? Are you cheap? You know, see, we all like things to go on sale. I like a good bargain, just like anybody else. I like when I go shopping to find something cheaper than maybe what I saw, you know, last time advertised in the store. I like to get, I like to feel like I've got a good deal. So I like it when I pay uh, a little cheaper than the regular price. Who wouldn't, right? But there's sometimes when we don't want cheaper. When we shouldn't be a cheapskate because there are certain things that simply do not go on sale. We've all heard the expression that you get what you pay for. And I think when it comes to our lives, when it comes to accomplishing things, we cannot, we cannot afford to wait for them to go on sale. In fact, they never do. The very, very precious things, the very, very valuable things, the things with qualities that never get degraded, some certain things, some certain values always stay high. And so if you really do want that thing, you have to step up and rise up to the higher level and meet it and expect, exceed it and then get what you want. It will never descend down low where you are to meet you. So if you're ever interested in anything great, anything worthwhile, the first thing you have to realize is that I have to step up. I have to climb up. So that is why I ask you, are you a cheap skick? Are you cheap in the things that are important to you? Are you putting in the time and other important resources to them? Or are you waiting for them to, to, to be devalued? Are you waiting for them to go on sale? Are you waiting for a discount? Who is going to discount it for you? Who? Society? The government? Your friends and family? Your coaches? Who? And by the way, isn't this your dream? So shouldn't you be willing to pay premium for it? Even if the price were, you know, you know marked up, you should be willing to pay the additional markup because you have said this is something that is important to me. So you should be willing to pay whatever price it is to get it. So that is all I want to ask you today. I want you to really think about it. I like thinking because that kind of introspection, that kind of stock taking when we dig deep and get to know ourselves better, it can be wasted time. It is important to know things in the world, to study space and the oceans and the moon and stars and other people and all the sub wonderful subjects in the world. I love knowledge like, you know, like anybody else, and it's good to know those things. But knowing yourself is best because whatever you're going to have to execute, whatever you're going to have to do is going to come from you from within. So you have to ask yourself, have I been playing cheap? Have I been waiting for things to go on sale for me? I love, I love a quote that T.D.J. says. It says, greatness never goes on sale. Greatness never goes on sale. So whatever you want, the first step, make up your mind right now, today, if you haven't already done so, I am willing to pay whatever price it takes. I am willing to pay the full premium price. In fact, if there were to be some price gouging, if there was to be some deflation when, sorry, inflation of prices, when prices are shoot up skyrocket high, I will fly right up there to the moon and pay that price because what I want, it is very, very important to me, non-negotiable. So I will pay the price. So make sure you're not cheap in the very important things. The certain things that you could, you know, pay a low price for, sell it for a lesser, lesser value, but there are certain things you shouldn't just compromise on. You should go for the very, very best the highest quality. And guess who sets that standard? You. The standard you set. The standard you set is right up here. That is what I'm worth. That is what I want. I'm not settling for anything less. Then go for it. But more importantly, be willing to pay the price it takes. Be willing to pay for it. I love David in the Bible. There was a time when David was going to sacrifice to God. And he had gone to this guy's um threshing floor and the guy obviously was um had other animals and the guy offered him bulls to do his sacrifice to god and david said no i will not offer anything to god that didn't cost me anything so he paid for 
for the bull before he made a sacrifice. This was a king of Israel. He was the king. And this guy was trying to show some deference to him. A kind of homage to him to give him this bull. Say, so, you're my king. It's kind of a sign of respect. But David, even though he understood that, but he understood a much more important principle that what I have to give, I, it has to cost me something for it to be worth something. Let me say it again. The price I pay for this indicates how much value I attach to it. How much I'm willing to pay for it is the only way I can indicate, I can express how important it is to me. If I'm willing to pay a dollar, that's how much I'm saying this thing is worth to me. If I'm willing to pay a million dollars, that I'm saying that's how much it is worth to me. Don't let anybody try to pay anything for you to, um, to indicate a value to you that for a price that they're not willing to pay. If someone tells you, oh, I think that it's worth $10,000, and then when it comes time to pay, they only want to pay you one, the one dollar in actuality, in reality, in the really true, in their hearts, is the value that I have assessed that asset or product for. People only pay the price that they think something is worth to them. It might not be what it's worth to you, but it's worth to them. And the same thing with you. So the first point is knowing that this is very important to me and this is how much I'm willing to pay for it. And the second thing is that if I'm the one selling, if you are coming to get something of mine that I have set the value a certain way, I'm not willing to rel relinquish it for anything lower than that. Whatever it is, maybe it's your friendship, maybe it's a relationship, maybe it's a business. Whatever it is you're trying to enter into any transaction, any partnership of any kind, of any sort with anyone, you should know your price. You should say, this is the price at which I'm going to participate in this relationship. This is where, this is the bar for me. I will not go lower than this. If you're not willing to play with me at this level, forget it. This is my standard. This is the value. This is how I have assessed this. This is how much it is worth to me. And I will not let it go for anything lower. I will not let it go for anything less than this. It is not that I'm trying to be obstinate, stubborn, uncooperative. No, I'm just saying I prize this too much. It is important to me. And if you want to play this game with me, then you ought to understand that and play where I want to play. I'm not being unfair. I'm just having a certain standard for myself that I want to stay here. I don't want to go any lower. And if you don't understand that, that is fine. I'll keep looking for the person who wants to play at this level. Don't cheap in yourself. And don't also cheap in your dreams or cheap in your goals or cheap in anything that you want. Again, the price you are willing to pay is how much you're really indicating that this thing is important to you. If you're not willing to pay for it, then you, it, it is not yet important to you. Because you're, let me tell you something. You're always paying for something. It's like a budget, right? When you sit down, maybe your budget, you make it at, you know, for every month, every week, however long the duration is. The things you include in your budget, that is what you're saying. Those things are important to you. The things you leave out, you have essentially said those things are not important. And the things that you attach more, you, you allocate more money to, for example, you're seeing those things are more important. Now they are in the budget and they're also presence in the budget. It's like also your friends and other relationships. You have many different friends, but the ones you're willing to give up time for. Some you're willing to give maybe just a few hours in a week or a month even or a day. For some, you will drop everything and run to them. So. The ones that you're willing to spend more time with, the things you're willing to spend more money on, that's how much you have assessed in your life and said, this is important to me, it's made the budget, and I'm giving more money to it. The same thing in everything in your life. Put it in your budget and put enough money in. In this case, money being your time, money being your heart, your sweat, your work, your spirit, your whole person that you're engaging and throwing and charging and that goal to go get it, that is a price in this case. Don't wait for it to go on sale. It never will. In this case, it's very funny. It's as if you are also the buyer and the seller in the same instance. You want it. You have to pay the price for it. And in, in another way, it's like you're also selling it to you. So you won't let it go if, it's, if a good price hasn't been paid for it. So you're standing right there. You have to set your standard. You have to go get it. You have to pay the price for it. And you should make sure you don't cheat you. Do not cheat you. Anytime you don't want to pay the price 
for what you want that is you cheating you so that's what i want to say for today my friends make sure as you look for deals in life there's certain things that the best deal you can get is paying the maximum price for it not that you want it to become more expensive but it's saying whatever it costs whatever it reasonably costs to me i want it so badly i gotta have it and i'm willing to work hard for it and do anything i'm going to do within reasonable limits of course not to commit a crime not to sin but to throw my heart and pour myself into this and pay the full price so i will get it and then also after i haven't paid that price for it and received it i'm going to be so proud of it because it was very well earned and i'll have the honor and dignity the pleasure of enjoying it with a full and grateful and well satisfied heart a heart full of joy and a sense of accomplishment that i did this and most importantly you'll give praise and thanks to the god who gave you the talent the effort the intelligence the strength the help the health and everything that went into you doing that so make sure you don't go cheap on your dreams and pay the price Pay the price, my friends. Pay the price. Greatness never goes on sale. Don't wait for it. No markdown is coming. You ain't coming. You ain't coming. Don't wait for it. You ain't coming. All right. Have a wonderful, wonderful, blessed weekend. And I'll talk to you next time. Bye for now.